We already have cameras that can scan our faces, but imagine software that could scan an entire crowd in seconds. Jason Whiteley brought back tonight's WFAA original all the way from Tokyo. There's a saying that whatever America invents, Japan often improves. But the Japanese have their own bragging rights to some pretty cool stuff. People don't recognize the possibility so far, and we're excited to see the momentum that's really building. Facial recognition is no longer Hollywood sci-fi. It is real world at NEC in Tokyo. Analyzing the pattern of the flow of people in real time. The company has a software called NeoFace, and watch what it can do. In crowds, it can pinpoint people on watch lists. It recognizes their faces and alerts nearby security officers. We can now recognize a specific person. This is even more fascinating, though. A camera that can detect which way you are looking. At this specific camera, without being obvious. It marked me suspicious here because I discreetly glanced up at the camera with my eyes without moving my entire face toward it. This isn't just high-tech fantasy, and it isn't just here in Japan. Turns out this very technology is proving useful in Texas, too. The National Soccer Hall of Fame in Frisco is already something to see. Well, it's the most personalized experience in sports. That's what we're calling it. But NEC's facial recognition technology is taking this place <laughs> next level. I love it because it delivers a workout, it's interactive, and if you're a parent of a small child, you can come in here and you can burn off some energy with your kids. This one has proven to be wildly popular. Exhibits recognize visitors who register. You see the players coming up against you, he's coming from the left, coming, oh! And virtual reality Whoa. lets them participate. Whoa! <laughs> play the game, the crowd is cheering, I'm design sure. their own jersey, and photobomb iconic moments in the sport. I know I'm biased, but this is the coolest museum Hall of Fame experience maybe in the world. But in Irving, NEC's facial recognition is helping catch criminals. We looked at it, and we've been a customer ever since. It can take a frame from a surveillance video, a cell phone pic, just a face with no name, and try to identify the individual against 15 years of mugshots from inmates who've been through the Irving jail. So this has absolutely been a game changer for our detectives in solving crimes because it takes an unknown subject and gives us a possible lead from that. To see how it works, we uploaded a picture of WFAA photographer Taylor Lumsden. And within seconds, the police software gave us a list of possible lookalikes, potential leads with names, addresses and dates of birth. It gives a detective somewhere to, to start. Where is this technology in five years or maybe 10 years from now? When you return home, this could be used to turn on the lights. It could be used to unlock the door. It is innovative technology that already captivates us, makes us safer, and proves that the future isn't as far off as we might imagine. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. In the coming months, facial recognition technology is coming to 75 gates at DFW. It will be used to track people leaving the country. U.S. passport holders can choose to opt out.